Today I will show you the best noise removal plugin for professional users. By professional user, I mean who does professional work like voiceover or audiobook narration. If you are doing voiceover for YouTube videos or online courses, this plugin will serve you too and save you from lots of headaches. The plugin I will show is not free and is currently the best in the market. I will show you in detail why. Even if you are not interested in a paid plugin now, I suggest you try the demo version. You can check it for free, and if you like the result, then purchase it. I will be showing the demo on this recording. It is a recording of one of my Audacity course lectures. I have not applied any processing yet on this recording. I have only removed some unwanted parts. It still has lots of breaths and mouth noises and long silences, but I can remove those after the improvement. I just removed the parts that I know for sure are not going into my final recording. Otherwise, it is the original recording without any post-processing. I will make a duplicate of this track and compare how the improvement is different from the raw recording. I will rename the tracks for better differentiation, the top one will be raw, and the bottom one will be improved. To improve the bottom track, I will select everything inside it by double-clicking and go to Tools. From the Apply Macro, I will select a macro, and this audio will be improved instantly. I have developed these macros for a smoother editing experience. It is a very efficient process as I do not have to configure all the effects separately and one after another. All the necessary effects are in the macro, and I will just select one, and it will be applied. For example, for a clean voiceover, I use clear vocal. When I get a recording with sibilance or sharp S problem, I apply the ESS reduction. I have 11 different macros for different purposes like improving the overall experience of listening or improving an interview audio etc. To fix quite bad uneven audio, I use level and improve macro. I also have macros for podcast improvement and other purposes. I choose a macro based on my need and my effect adding process will be done just like that. I will show you later where you can get these macros and make your editing process faster and more efficient. So that you can concentrate on more important parts of your tasks. As the current recording is a voiceover for my online course, I will use clear vocal improve macro. The audio has been improved, and let's listen to the original and the improved. Please keep in mind that the top track is the raw, and the bottom track is improved. In this lecture we learn about the normalize effect. Generally people think that normalize effect is for increasing the in this lecture we learn about the normalize effect. Generally people think that normalize effect is for increasing the volume level of the audio. But that is not 100% true. Normalize effect can normalize effect adjust the volume level of the audio. So it may increase or decrease the volume level. Let me show you how it can decrease the volume level first. Then I will show how it is increasing the volume. I have an example of a bad recording here. There is a sudden spike in the waveform. It is quite an improvement in the audio quality. I can use this audio easily on my YouTube videos or online courses. People will be very pleased with the audio quality. However, if I want to use this audio for a professional voiceover demo, I will need to make another improvement. Because my recording environment was not perfect and I had some white noise all over the audio. In my one-click macro, I reduced some low frequency noise. But noise can happen across all frequencies. It would be a shame if I could not use this excellently improved audio for a professional demo. I could have used the noise reduction effect in Audacity to get that noise down, but there is an issue with that. I will make a duplicate of the track and show you the issue. Audacity noise reduction can also degrade the actual voice. I want my voice quality intact but want to reduce some noise. That is not possible with Audacity noise reduction. It takes out some life from the voice. I will use Audacity Noise Reduction on the improved track and another plugin in the bottom track. I will apply a 12 dB noise reduction and use 6 for other sliders. It would give me a decent noise reduction, but no professionals use Audacity Noise Reduction. Because it makes the audio quality poor. I will apply Waves Clarity VX to the bottom track. Clarity VX is the best noise reduction plugin in the current market. I am talking about white noise reduction. Because white noise is the killer of otherwise good quality audio. You can test with a demo version of this plugin. Though it does not work very smoothly with Audacity, but it works to the level you need to work. I will select Broad 2 as the neural network. That works better for a single person talking to a microphone. You have to configure only one knob here, and you are good to go. Set this knob to 80-100% to based on how much noise reduction you want. I will apply this setting. The Waves plugin also works as a real-time effect, but with Audacity that is not available. You have to use another software host like Adobe Audition to get that. 
Clarity VX has reduced the noise, and you can visually measure its improvement. Audacity noise reduction worked only on a particular noise pattern whereas Clarity VX worked better on those places too. Let's play and compare. You may need to use headphones in a quiet environment to understand the difference. In noisy surroundings, you may not capture the artifacts Audacity's noise reduction introduced. But those artifacts are not acceptable on professional voiceover. In this lecture we learn about the normalize effect. Generally people think that normalize effect is for increasing the volume level of the audio. But that is not 100% true. Normalize effect. In this lecture we learn about the normalize effect. Generally people think that normalize effect is for increasing the volume level of the audio. But that is not 100% true. Normalize effect can Normalize effect adjusts the volume level of the audio, so it may increase or decrease the volume level. Let me show you how it can decrease the volume level first. I will show how it is increasing the volume. I have an example of a bad recording here. There is a sudden spike in the waveform. A waveform is a visual representation of your audio. As you can experience in audio editing, you can spot issues just by looking into a waveform. As you can experience in the audio editing, you can spot issues looking into a waveform. The amplitude or volume level of the audio can be understood from the waveform height. That means the taller a waveform is, the louder the sound will be. The loudest point of any audio is called the peak of the audio. Peak is an important term as it is used in many places. So, but the loudest point of any audio is called its peak. Normalizing it is really amazing how Waves Clarity VX kept the original voice quality intact. You can get the Clarity VX from their website. You can try the demo version first, and if you like you can purchase the plugin. I told you I would show you where to get the single click improvement macro. I have 11 different macros that turn the raw recording into professional quality in a single click. To get these macros, go to this Buy Me A Coffee page. Please note that these macros come with after sales support. You will get a free review of your recording and adjustments on the macro if needed for your recording. In general, it works well, and people on Windows, Mac, and Linux are using it without any difficulty. After downloading, you will get this macros and EQ zip file. Unzip the file and you will see the macros and EQs folder. All the macros are inside this folder. Besides the macros, I have also added the EQs as a bonus. From the name of the file you will know what an EQ does. In case you do not need the macros but want to use the EQs only, you can do that. The macros are inside the macros folder. These are TXT files, and you have to import them in Audacity. The import process is very easy. From Tools, go to the Macro Manager. Click on Import and browse to the location where you unzip the file. Find the macros folder and import the TXT files one by one. Audacity does not support importing multiple files, so you have to do it one at a time. After importing a file, you can see the macro here. If a macro appears here, you are all set to use it. All your installed macros will appear on the Apply Macro menu. If you face any difficulty in installing or using a macro, please send me an email, and I will review your issue. You will find the macro buying page in the description. 